What is going on guys? Wiser here and I'm coming to you with One Hive Labs next Slate My Base video. So I'm here with my good friend Kadek. How you doing buddy? Hey man, doing good. Glad to be back. Yeah, always, always, always a pleasure. Let's uh, let's knock this thing out of the park. I just want to go over a couple things. We do want to try and now with this new format, like we were talking about, um, you know, we need to trim some, some of the fat. We'll just say the last the last video I think went like an hour and fifteen minutes or something. So definitely too long. We're gonna try and streamline this a little bit with a more uh, better format. We think we're gonna go over our attack plans. Uh, just do some quick comments on the base, make our attacks, and then do the cleanup. Uh, one thing I did want to mention real fast before we jump in is first of all uh, i woke up this morning to do the recaps of our range wars for both invicta and 2.0 this weekend um and they came out with an update uh added level eight giants to the mix for town hall 11 and an extra level i think level 14 arch towers is it yes um so interesting thought uh what are your thoughts on that cat uh, is it gonna have a huge impact you think or I don't think this will give big impacts. I mean, CC Giants, they might be okay, but with bowlers being this strong for Tunnel 9 and below, it likely doesn't mean anything. Um, maybe for... Uh, I don't know yet. I, I think uh, defending the two-star Tunnel 11 might be a bit uh, better now, or harder to get the two-star at least. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I don't think these are big changes, honestly. No, I mean, I was thinking about it um, for a Town Hall 10 perspective, Maybe having that extra level of giants in your clan castle for some Valk attacks might have a little bit of an impact. Yeah, um, sure, yes. As well, thinking at the Town Hall 9 level, I, I'm i going to try this a little bit. I'm sure everyone, a lot of other people are going to do a little testing, but CC giants with uh, with some healers. And then might maybe, be very strong. Yeah. Then maybe sending in some Valks and some Hogs in behind, something like that. Um, just, just some ideas. Uh, I think it will have a little bit of an impact, but like you said, nothing too crazy. Now... Unfortunately, I did lose the replays for both Far Reigns War, so I won't get the recaps. Uh, first of all, 2.0 faced German Titans in the potluck spin. Uh, we did not show up. We just came off a huge victory against Spartans Legacy where we performed just so well. And then you just go to into war like this, and we, we had some struggles. What, what was your uh, perspective on that war? Well, as the Tunnel 9 general, it's uh, those days are rough. Because we were doing so well that I was consistently able to send up scouts at the start of the war, which is amazing for Tunnel 10 planning. Uh, which I did this war as well. Um, I might have regretted that decision. Uh, yeah, our yeah. nines didn't perform. Um, I got a 99% and 100% myself, so I'm one of the guys that didn't perform. Um, I mean, we needed the six-pack out of me to have a shot at clearing the nines, and we didn't get it. So it's no one's fault but um we all struggled it was a rough war for us um i think even up top we struggled quite a bit but we managed to close out uh the the match closer than i expected so i'm yeah. proud of our guys uh we did we give our there. best effort but we Absolutely. had enough war that's happened that happens. and i don't know what it is about these german clans they have 2.0's number uh, <laughs> i don't know if we've had a victory against them in a while like the per box I think the dark looters are uh, are German as well. I, I'm not 100, percent but um, you know nothing. German Titans is an amazing clan. Let's not forget that as well, right? I mean, it, didn't they just beat War Whales as well? I believe they just had a really large victory. I believe, yeah, they're they're doing great. Yeah. So uh, and then moving over to Invicta. Invicta faced up against Clontanamo Bay and was the opposite story. Invicta guys just absolutely had an amazing war i um, was watching some of those replays you know what sucks is last night i was like I, I gotta do these recaps and i was really tired had a really long weekend it's been a really kind of just shitty work at week for me but um so last night i'm like okay i'm gonna get the recaps all together i'm gonna watch all the replays set the attacks that i want write them all down have it all set up for me this morning i can wake up get my daughter eating breakfast grab my coffee and do some recaps well Unfortunately, <laughs> that decision was a poor one. I need to keep a little more up to date on, you know, the forums. I'm sure they had mentioned something about this coming out, and I'm just, I don't know, I just been all over the place recently. So, anyways, my apologies. Invicta did come away with a huge victory though against Clontanamo Bay by, I believe, three stars. And I think, think German Titans beat us. But maybe it was even four stars for Invicta. And I know German Titans, at least it was three or four, maybe even a five star victory against 2.0. So, congrats to those clans. Really good job. Um, but uh, let's move forward with the Slay My Base. I'm going to hop over to this Twiddler now. This is Caddick's base. base. Yeah, yeah. Well, the one that Caddick will be attacking. 
Yeah, so as said, I'm going to quickly scan over the base and uh, not go too in-depth because we uh, will talk about stuff later. Mm -hmm. um, first glance, I see that uh, there's a lot of opportunities for spring traps, um, which is good. I mean, uh, they're kind of obvious, but I think uh, they're all good. So I, I'm a bit scared to go in the, into this with Hawks. The one thing I did see, but saw too late uh, after making my war plan, uh, was that the queen is going to jump to different compartments. So that's something I could abuse in a second attack. Um, but also what I uh, notice is these sweepers. They are both facing one direction. Um, so currently, I'm not sure how to attack this. Uh, my first instinct is to go with a loon from this angle. Um, but then again, uh, when looking at the base, um, with giant bombs in mind. I think this is the most obvious DGP spot. There might be one here. And uh, that means there is likely a Tesla over here. Let me make that a different color to make it clearer. I th expect a Tesla here. I expect something with a Tesla over here and even over here, maybe over there. So th this is approximately how I expect the Teslas to be. Um, so that's really tricky. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, for a Laloon attack, I might actually need to switch it up from the other side, just because of those um, the Teslas that Teslas. you want them going down first. But then again, I thought, hey, this jump. Um, let me draw that in at the south here. Uh, that's a fairly clean shot at two expos, an air defense, the enemy queen, and the enemy CC. So I thought, why not just try it out? Why not do it? I'm not the best air attacker. I'm going to be honest there, um, but I think it can be done. I think I, I can um, do a lot of damage to these air, air defenses with like very minimal losses in um, my uh, air troops, basically. So yeah. that's my plan. Um, I think it's a really good base. I mean, uh, storage is well spread. Uh, we'll talk about that later, but I think this is a very good base, and I decided to go a bit experimental with it. So the overall idea is cold-blooded or shattered? Cold-blooded attack. One golem, okay. send it in here, jump it in, heroes, baby dragon here for some funneling and getting that archer tower down. Uh, this gold mine is out of range of anything, so I can drop a wizard there and funnel everything in. You'd think at the very least, if uh, as long as that air defense goes down you get the CC taken care of, you should be fine. with a... I should be okay, but yeah. then again, uh, this backside does really worry me. We will see. Yep. <laughs> Good wizard tower placements overall, I think. A couple sort yep. of in range, but uh, like you said, it, it kind of keeps you guessing at this point. you got to wonder... Uh, I really, You know what? I better, I'm going to go back and check and make sure those were the sweeper locations. I really hope they were. If they weren't, my apologies to the person who sent me this base. No, but I think this is uh, intentional. I mean, pretty I sure expect some Teslas in the, these areas. So I think the one viable way to, to actually triple this base is to come in like this. Um, with some heavy loons at the deal start the and just deal with the sweepers. How many hastes are you? What are your spells are you bringing? Um, two rages right now. I mean, I want one rage for the kill squad and one rage uh, in case of a Tesla farm. So okay. that limits me, and the rest is hastes basically. Okay. So let's switch to yours. Yep. Uh, that should be this one. Yeah, there we go. There we are. Um,. So again, so before, I, I, before go we go into this, um, I'm very sorry. This is the correct screen sh screenshot, but I messed up, and there's one wall uh, placed incorrectly uh, in the actual uh, screen base. I mean, the actual uh, challenge base. A wall over there has been misplaced over here. So my apologies. This might change the outcome of the raid, but most likely it won't seem. I don't think uh, it won't. As I have seen the plan. But these but two compartments, it is open. There is one is open, open space right there by so accident. So keep that in mind. It's not perfect. My apologies. Next time we'll, I'll uh, recheck it. <laughs> um, but my initial thoughts of this base uh, were a couple things. Uh, I, I liked it overall. Um, the queen chamber is very well protected. Uh, this expo there is grounded. Just gonna make sure I'm on that. So right, this one is grounded. Um, you know, I was looking at trying to get a good entry. I considered coming in on this side. Uh, I do like the fact. I mean, maybe if we get to clean up, I do like the fact that kind of these two jumps open up quite a bit. Uh, I like the DGB spots on this base. There's quite a few of them, and they're they're well laid out. I mean, I'm gonna just sort of circle them off here for potentials. Uh, potentially there, 
think that's most of the good ones. Uh, so right there, there's a lot to think about when I was planning for this base. Now, when I see a clan castle way on the outside like this in that queen chamber, uh, I, I I'm generally lean towards trying to walk or charge by that queen chamber because if I can easily get that clan castle and the queen, but kind of deal with them separately, which I'm pretty sure I can in this case. Um, even if not, like the double poison with a rage, I might have to burn my ability, but, um, you know, easy funnel off, uh, off for these buildings. I can drop the queen here. She's going to go down. I'm going to have to drop a poison. And now she should, the, the thing about that is she should engage everything before this expo locks on her, which is pretty important, but you know, a couple poisons down once the CC's out and the queen is dead. I'm going to go ahead and go in from 6 o'clock. Um, I opted to only bring four giants. I'm hoping that works out fine. Uh, should allow me to get a funnel going. Something like that. I got some minions for right here. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to open up that wall. Send in a CC of Valks. And uh, I think I got five. So I think I got eight Valks total. I'm going to drop a jump spell right there. Uh, I got a heal spell for them, which kind of depends if I see any Tesla's pop or any jazz like that, but I'm hoping to kind of heal more in the core, um, something like that. And then I'm going to start reinforcing with hogs surgically. Oop, that was horrible, but whatever on the outside, I think I only want to use about, hopefully only burn maybe six, maybe have to drop a seventh or eighth. Um, to push everything and keep everything moving up in the uh, clockwise rotation. Send in a few more at this chamber. Hopefully be able to clear all of that because I'm really concerned there's a DGB there. So I'm pretty sure anything I send from 12 is going to get burnt when, by the time it jumps in there. Uh, and then, But realistically, there's only those three defenses left if all of this plan goes to point. And I think I have 16 hogs, two, four, six... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I should have three or four hogs left as well to kind of help help out at the end uh, as well for cleanup and save a cleanup wizard. That was my idea. Cool. Um, I'm pretty confident. Whenever I see a builder's hut like this, I feel like it's it. They they wanted to fit something in, so I feel like there's Teslas here. Um, and or a, you know, there wouldn't be a DGB there, but maybe even a single in there with a Tesla. Um, I also thought there potentially was four Teslas, kind of, or three Teslas in in that sort of fashion. But I guess we'll find out. Yep, we will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything. No? It's really tough for me to not say anything yeah. right now. <laughs> Um, now, I, again, I'm just trying to make sure I have a plan for the whole side of the base. The biggest thing is going to be this queen walk. If I can get this, if I can get the queen to take care of that stuff and continue her walk downwards um, without dying, uh, there's no worry about her. You know, all the air defense are over here, obviously. So healers are going to be completely fine all along this side. Um, so I have no worries over healers going down. Uh, sweeper is not going to bother them whatsoever. So. Um, I think she should be fine walking down as long as I, uh, I'm very Johnny on the spot in the with that queen chamber. So sounds good. Let's go. Let's right. uh, hit the bases. Let's do it. I'm gonna hop on over real quick. Ooh, gotta quickly reload. Load up the tablets. And we will be back in two seconds with our live attacks. Okay, we are back and Katic is scouted and ready to hit this base. Um, anything else you need there, buddy? Uh, a, whole lo a whole load of luck, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the cold the blood of Lalo, still scares man. me. I think I'm going to fill on the back end just because I'm not too experienced with the Laloon, but we will see. All right. Good I'm luck, trying to talk uh, through it once again, and last time I failed uh, because of it, but that's okay. Let's do it. I'm just going live. Beautiful. We are live. Okay. So, going first, quick baby dragon, wizard right there. Just another wizard for the funneling. That wizard over there. The, the golem actually the... went in the mortar. That's... 
unexpected. I think that that's baby no dragon is going to get that arch tower too. That is great value. Yes, that's what I hoped for. Whoa, I misclicked there. Ho, ho, ho. That's not good. Queen that's, ability? Yes, that was a misclick. Hit the king. That's going to hurt me. I think you should got still the air get defense, it. You're good. You got the air defense. So, you might get an expo out of the deal. I'm oh, going hot with the air attack. I decided to only push for one Lava Hound there because it's a max Lava Hound and the loons. I mean, there's no defenses there. so Nothing. That's yeah. the reasoning for the one Hound there. Queen's definitely getting both expos, which is nice. Um, good value still. Like, great value out of that kill squad. There go the mines, but you still have... Yeah, man. It's looking pretty good, I think. Yeah, but I need to be careful. I haven't seen any Teslas yet, so <laughs> I think my fear is true. Yeah. Uh, which means I need to go like this. <laughs> this is a bit of an overkill, but that's because I'm so scared of the Tesla farm. <laughs> there goes the rage. There goes the haste. But the, at least the hounds are tanking, so that's really You're good. You're good, man. I You're think good. I'm good. You got a full health hound there. See Dude, that little troll the, Tesla? I was a bit there? too panicky there. <laughs> yeah, you could have saved a few for cleanup. I could have saved the loots for the back end. But I think I still got it, though. That's better sure than expected. You sure do. The really, hound was time. tanking. You got a minute 16. You got the pops hound was up. tanking there at the end. That's what actually saved me. Yeah, it was great. And your queen, too. Look at that queen survival. Queen is still alive. The cold-blooded entry, that. and your queen is still alive. <laughs> I was not awesome. expecting that at all. Not at all. Just crushed it, buddy. Absolutely. <laughs> Very nice hit. Yeah, even a love hound alive. Yeah, that's because of the first part. Like The air defenses were fairly directly targetable, and not a lot was hitting them. Do you know so, who? Uh, do you know who Sub Seventeen is? He's from War Wales. Oh, yeah, and he sent this base, or this is his base. Yeah, he DM'd it to me on it's Twitter. Very nice. Like I really like the Tesla uh, Wizard Farm. It's really tricky to deal with. It was a good thing I was prepared. <laughs> no, absolutely right. You you saved everything just because of that, and that's that's really when you break down a base, guys. It's the kind of stuff you got to be thinking about, right? Like, where is everything going to end up and what potentially could be there? Yep. So, yours is ready. All right. Oh, you ready? Um, yeah. Yours is up. I'm just going to do a very double check here. So... And get those minions down nice and early. One, two, and three. And I'm gonna go. How many minions did I bring? Five, good. So I want two more. As soon as that arch tower locks on, I'm gonna go two more in the dark elixir drill. <coughs> okay. Poison, poison. All right, I think I'm ready here. Okay, good luck. Here we go. At 220, 330, one rage, two heals, going in. <clears throat> sure that is zoomed out. Start with the minions. Three. Queener. Good value there. Oh, they're even getting the gold storage. Yeah, huh. they are. Nice. <clears throat> Viewers make fun of how heavy I breathe when I attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot to change the lava on. I'm sorry. It's all good. It took down pretty quick. Yeah, rage and ability. All right, so looking good. You guys there? Oh, there's a Tesla there. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's nasty. You got the wall though. All good though. Impressive. Yep. Sure did. A 
that king. A little heel there. Queen's breaking in, that's helping you. Yeah, that's great. That second heel down, keep those up under those Teslas. Got the bomb. Get that king ability as soon as he gets on the wall. Looking strong still. Ugh, the wrong wall. No heels though. Nope. I think I'm okay. Wait till things get to this back end. Got a whiz on the outside doing oh, cleanup. Your whiz and queen are doing work. They just took out the uh, expo. Stupid Valks walking back and forth. <laughs> I still have a giant alive too. How unbelievable is that? Heal spells. Two yeah. giants even. Oh wow. Yeah. I don't need any cleanup. I got 30 seconds and two swag hogs. Impressive. Impressive. That one better than expected, there especially after that Tesla, though. Yeah. I mean, those, this guy's uh, Teslas were nasty. Very I've nasty. seen people try to HGHB this, and the Teslas were placed just to counter it. Boom! There it is. Nice job, buddy. Fresh hit triples from both of us. I love it. Love it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Woo. My hands get so sweaty. <laughs> He's <Nice> weak. <laughs> he, <laughs> breathing heavy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I do. Even when like I play Dota and and all like every game I play with my gamer buddies, <laughs> they know when I'm breathing heavy. There's something going down. <laughs> like yep. you know, in Dota, like I'm going through a crazy battle, or in like Armor Three or something like that. They're like, oh, Mike's under fire. <laughs> okay, um, so uh, the base is up on Twiddler with the traps. My base is. Oh, already you got it set up. Ready. Beautiful. Let's hop right and back. And I see you sent yours to, to me as well, so I will this. upload that one soon Easy so we can that. continue. Okay, beautiful. Um, so I'm back on the Twiddler here. Uh, so I definitely, you know, I was thinking about it. I was surprised I didn't see two DGBs. Um, this bomb I did not expect up there. But it kind of got triggered while I was very light on uh, the deployment. Once once the Valkyries, I was worried the Valks were going to go up in this section, but they cut across to those Teslas, yeah. which was perfect because then I dropped that heel down. That actually helped you. For sure it did. And um, I only went, I think I only dropped six hogs. I dropped a few on the Wizard Tower, and then I reinforced with a few right there. And these bombs got triggered before these hogs made it over there, which was perfect. Yeah. I think you you got well not lucky but you were your timing was very good with uh, the hogs and yeah. uh, I think these Teslas I mean they're specifically made to counter HGHB I mean it's just fairly obvious mm -hmm. I mean giants go there with the funnel they trigger the the Tesla the giants go around and get screwed and this is one of the reasons why outside defense are uh, very viable right now yeah so I I really like it uh, this thingy on the outside i mean the first one i saw do this was lime killer from uh now 2.0 yep back when he was in victor and it, it has been very effective against uh 1.0 for example 1.0 um i like it it makes funneling very hard and it's basically the, basically a cheap way to make um yeah very hard, funneling very hard i mean as opposed to oh, i just thought it was on lines um as opposed to making those huge moats right and going something yeah, exactly. like that it's just a. It, an it saves walls way. and it has the same sort of effect. It's it's situational. I mean, don't always use it, but um, yeah. I don't know about this small bomb placement, just because of the fact that you have that there. Why would someone want to break that wall? I didn't really yeah. understand that. I, as soon as that builder's hut goes down, you're going to be able to drop wall breakers directly in at that wall. Um, yeah. So first things first, uh, the queen. I think she's well protected. Yeah, I mean, it took quite a bit. I mean, you even needed uh, to use your ability there. So I think that's a good, uh, good protection of the queen. If there were Valks and stuff coming out, it might actually have been even more difficult. Even though burning the ability would still have been the same. 
I think uh, I think I could have avoided it if I had raged before the like if I had raged just earlier. Yeah, just earlier. I mean, it's tricky to pull off still. I mean, in a war raid, it, it's still different than these raids we're doing right now. I mean, um, yeah, the pressure well, is a bit higher. Part of the, yeah, it's me. the pressure. It's the timing. You have to have be right on with your timing because yeah. it's it's like you got to funnel, you got to funnel, you got to get her going on that stupid dark elixir storage and get it down. I mean, there's a lot of time sinks there. So, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, another thing, I mean, these walls, they're nasty. I, I like them for the uh, the space, uh, spacing of them. I mean, this is nine spaces, so you can't quake it. Uh, this is a very tough jump to pull uh, to pull off. I mean, it's, it's a stretch. So, I mean, even though it's very valuable, the jump is, as you have seen uh, in that attack, um, it's a very I, hard jump to place. I thought it was going to be easier than it was. At first, I thought I missed it. Like, it was right on yeah. the edge. <laughs> I think it's uh, seven spaces. Yeah, I think it's seven spaces. Yeah, it's definitely definitely a very It's actually seven jump. spaces in this direction, so it's even harder mm -hmm. than seven spaces. So, yeah, it's, it's very hard to pull that one off. So I was impressed that you actually got it. Um, yeah, so this DGB, it's functional, but I think Hawks from this angle actually... Get a Screwed single up. trigger, yeah. and it's it's a bit, um, yeah, it, it's a tricky DGB. Let, let's just say that it might be better to just, I mean, even move this wizard tower one spot up. Same with that electric collector, and move the DGB up one spot. I mean, it's not the most obvious DGB, so uh, I mean, you wouldn't expect it uh, right there. I mean, I would expect it over here just because, yep. and the other one over here. That's what I would expect, honestly. To be honest, I think he'd be better off going four singles on this base because of the the scout view seeing how many options for dgbs there potentially could be like move this tesla over one and put a bomb like maybe right in the middle one of these two i don't know i think i think you might have a little more value on a, a four single it's, it's hard to say obviously but yeah it might be a good call um i'm looking at the air defenses uh, these ones have oh, just one black mine on them that's okay um i mean the, the disadvantage of this base, it was the same as the base I just attacked. Um, a Lava Hound coming in, Lava Hound coming in. They tank everything and it's not that much damage incoming. I mean, once this Arch uh, Tower and the Tesla are down, there's nothing hitting them anymore, really. So uh, it's basically the same issue as the base I just hit. Yeah. Same story over here. Uh, as soon as the Lava Hound is on top of that air defense, I mean, there's nothing hitting them. Same story at the bottom. And... Each of these red bombs is straight in the path of where I would, uh, except for that one, um, is straight in the path of where I would want my lava hunt to actually go. Yeah, so actually, I move in, the red in my bomb. opinion, that is the only good red red air bomb in the base. Yeah. yeah. Well, even there, I, I don't think um, balloons would go there, honestly. Yeah, that's a good point. Even if you drop so, them there, they're going to go uh, either that way or that yeah. way, right? They might get the edge, but it's still not... And even it, you it's think a risky about it, one, and even a, a hound popping on top of that, or even this out of fence, uh, they will trigger that uh, red bomb. And here's a thought: oh, maybe not. I was thinking a lava hound from like this corner, then going over to that air defense, but it wouldn't. It would go to the core next, I think. Yeah. So that's the one tricky thing about this base. I mean, uh, this court air defense makes the Luna a lot harder, uh, but you could set quake it nowadays. I mean, there's not that much damage incoming, so why not? I no, mean, one I of the just, things... I, you you just need a haste, a haste, and three hastes, and you could bring a zap quake then. And one of the things you mentioned uh, when we were talking about planning earlier was the viability of dragons these days. And, you know, I see these... Have you seen these newer meta bases with, with those the very air exposed the outside? air defense? I love them. Because they just open you up to dragon attacks yep. like, so easily. Like when you can just suicide some heroes in and get a couple air defense out of the deal. Like I don't necessarily care what you're trying to defend. That's just crippling your base too much, in my opinion. Um, just last war. So sad I can't show the the replay because of the the wipe. But um, imagine uh, there being a queen here with an air defense there and a double layer of walls. I place a jump. Uh, got my king in, killed the air defense, killed the queen after, and started walking around. Uh, I, my queen, without healers, without healers, was able to snipe an air defense. The up next top. one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's I right. I remember. I remember watching it. The third, 
and brought the Lava Hound. I mean, I zapped quite that one, for example, and brought a Lava Hound for the last one. And my dragons, dragons. were able to sweep through the base. Yeah. Easy. Now, it's, I, I, it's so many. So I've, be really careful with your air defenses. I've talked about this in re recaps. The only enemy to you in those situations is time, right? So if you can, if you can do it very efficiently and quickly and get your dragons down fast, you, the base doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, so a dragon attack is all about the first 30 seconds, in my opinion. I mean, no, I had to drop my king, drop the jump, drop my queen, and uh, have everything in order and do it by, quickly. By and two and a half minutes. And just watch yep. after. Yep, so, absolutely. Um, one thing I wanted to mention, I see a lot of small bombs over there. I like it. I mean, they, they did not too much damage, but still, they, they did good damage to the Valkyries uh, together with that bomb that already forced a heal. So I like this because... Uh, it's only a few defenses uh, at the start, and you're still forcing a heal. So it I did. like that. You know, I panicked because I saw, you know, I saw my Valks moving in one straight uh, to this gold mine, and he was almost dead. And the rest were kind of moving up, and I'm like, I better get that down. Like if I lose, if yep. I lose my Valkyries now, it's game over. Here, so, so I think that's a very good thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, th that giant bomb is in a very dense area, so I think you, you, you usually would need a heal there anyway. I mean, in your case, it was enough tanking, but I think usually that giant bomb actually doesn't add too much because you're most likely forcing a heal there anyway. Yeah. So that's just a thought. Um, when there's two point defenses and a whiz tower, usually that, that's always the yeah. case. Um, I, I like the compartments on this base, though. I mean, as I said before, this is uh, this is very nasty for an attacker, just because of uh, these small walls being uh, just popped out a little bit with the Tesla. So that makes uh, wall breaking in this section very hard, and that means that this uh, small bomb is actually perfectly placed. So good job there. I really like it. Um, oh, and Tesla's that's Tesla. Unpredictable. Oh for man. Months. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad the minis popped the Tesla because if I had yeah I don't know I I was able to think for I a think second. your queen would have gotten it in the end and you wouldn't have been distracted by it too much yeah honestly. I just thought you know what as soon as I saw it pop I was thinking I'm like hey well I'm just gonna drop my giants on it I can still get I believe this army camp out of the way yeah and, dro and drop the Valks and they're gonna they're gonna go up but as long as I get this wall open by the time they get to that crossing path of this intersection, they're going to go in. Yep, um, absolutely. And then, you know what actually I think really saved the day for my entry there? Was this. Right there. Because it sucked the Valks kind of into the wall at first. Like, they targeted them immediately, and they like the Valks like stood there for a second, and then the wall opened up, so the next spot for them to go was inside. Um, yep. So the one last thing I want to mention about this base is once again the storage is on the outside. I think they can be placed better. I mean, for example, storage over there would have stalled the Velks forever, uh, making these giants tank a lot of defenses for nothing. I mean, it's just those details. Like uh, imagine their storage being over there or over here. I mean, the Velks would have been stalled so much longer with uh, damage on them um, that it actually might have um, cost uh, you the raid in this case. So yeah. that's lost a bit of uh, advice I would give this. Well, person. as well with those two, those two guys in there. Like you yep. look, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the high hit point storages are in that large circle right there. Yeah. So, so that that's uh, the last thing. Mm -hmm. Let's move to your base. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's uploaded and everything now, so this should be it. Okay, let's see it. Um, so the DGB is as I, I expected. This is an interesting th uh, concept. That's uh, first uh, pops my mind. I mean, we talked about the queen. So um, the queen can jump, uh, which is a, a bad thing in my opinion, but it, it's not too predictable. I mean, she could jump to either compartment. So it's kind of tricky. I'm not sure. Uh, she's very accessible by queen walk from the outside, though. Uh, but the air defenses defended very well. So I like that. Uh, this spring trap is mostly against HGHB, I can already tell. Um, yeah, depends on your, your personal preference. If you're that heavily invested in defending HGHB, which I think you should be, uh, it might be a good thing. But then again, I don't think I would HGHB this just because of all of these defenses. Yeah. So my entry would be from another side, which means um, this spring trap doesn't do too much. I mean, you oh, do that. Um... I was looking at it actually. You probably almost want to just HDHB 
from that angle. I was thinking the same. Yeah. And just go straight. And ha have a jump here, and go straight in. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking as well. So, uh, yeah, I I don't think that spring trap does enough. Um, these red bombs, as you saw in my raid, are exactly in the path of where I want my lava hunted path. So. They're in a very good spot, but then again, uh, they're kind of obvious. I think placing one over there, for example, would improve it a little bit. Um, yeah, even two. It's because a nasty spot, though. Nine I mean, times whew. out of ten, someone wants to path right over top of those wizard towers, right? Like that's that's the whole point. Yeah. Y you want to get? I mean, it's nice. The wizard tower placement is nice because I think they're both out of range. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. But so because of that fact you're definitely going to want to path the Lava Hound there so you can have a few extra seconds for your balloons to get in untouched, right? Yep. So just thinking about things like that um, when placing red bombs. Actually, red mines are quite often... Red mines and spring traps, I think, are, in my opinion, the most commonly uh, misused defenses. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, I, th this DGB, phew, I'm not sure if it's going to work at all. I yeah, mean, I, you know, when I built the base, I wasn't 100%. But then sub. again, I think it might actually work. It's a really tricky one. It is. I would have never expected it, actually. I thought about but it. Then what again, a hawk's coming from this angle. Will yep. they pop it? Or are they if this go is right gone, there? obviously. Oh, well. I think it's a very good base. Um, I think the spring traps are good. Um Are there any f big flaws we still see? I mean... This feels like a bit of a waste of walls, honestly. I we mean, we were talking about that. I mean, the one, this little thing on the queen chamber right here, like we talked about, very cheap investment on the walls. Yeah, to, to I, I like that one, but not not those other ones. They do make it a bit tougher for funneling against HHB. Okay, granted, but I mean, for example, a wall over here, I know it screws over your DGB. Or maybe it even, in this case, it might actually uh, make it more likely for a DGB. Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, for a DGB to be there, because if this wall's like this, for example, I mean, someone is going to expect two bombs and a Tesla. And I already kind of expected it. Yep. So, uh, I'm not... I, I Currently, with the current state of the game, with HHB being so strong, I mean, even this wall would be worth it. Yeah. Just because the, the HHB is going to get stopped because of all of the walls. Then again, it can still triple any base, but I think that one wall through the core might actually be it very helps. helpful. A lot of times it's just down to time. I mean, it's similar. I mean, you know, I, I've talked about this, about bowlers needing to be nerfed a little bit. And not much. Like, it's just another Town Hall 9 attack. Like, we talked about Valks were the same way, right? Like, any base yep. technically kind of could be Valk too, right? But yeah. you learn and to adapt a little bit and do some things to make it a little more difficult. And it's just making the failure rate a little, a little more predominant. Yeah, there's. I think uh, it's not actually the bowlers that need changing. I think the healers need changing. Thank and, you, uh, thank you. I've said this. Let me let me say this. <laughs> okay, the fact that healers take five shots from an air defense to yes, die. Yes, that's the issue. Is ridiculous. That's the okay? issue. To me, when I see it, I think of a healer. It should be. It should heal just as much as it does. The healing factor shouldn't change. They just need to be more fragile. Except for the normal troops. They heal more normal troops. I think that needs to be nerfed too. I think the HP and the healing to normal troops needs to be nerfed. And then okay. they're in a good spot. Yeah. I just I just think even just alone, if you just made it so air mines could target healers and they were more fragile, had like half the amount of hit points they do, you, it would, you would be able to still do the same attacks. You would just have to be more tactful about it because you can't. There's no room for error in your walks anymore. Like if you, you know, and you someone could defend against it. You could choose to put a mine outside your base to try and kill the healers, right? I don't know. I, yeah, I, I don't like that idea, but um, I think uh, those changes are needed, and uh, I hope Supercell listens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, absolutely. Uh, I'm not, I'm not too hopeful on that. I agree. It's the healers. But the healers. Need anyway, to I think this is a very good base. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, yeah. I mean, almost everything is in in order. Um, the tests are a bit predictable, I would say that. I think all of the giant bombs, uh, except for these two, of course. The placement is very predictable. I think the tests are fairly predictable because of the giant bombs. Um, I think that's the one thing that this this base could improve on. Well, realistically, the giant bombs specifically, like obviously in 
you're not going to expect giant bombs there. So where does that leave you? One, two, three. And that's it. And yeah, but and you won't even expect that because it's so far out. Yeah. It's correct. Uh, you can't reach it with a queen, but it's uh, so far out, so you won't expect that. Only a single there. Yeah. So great job on the base, honestly. I like it. Very, very nice base. Beautiful. So I think we got this done in a little more timely fashion. I mean, I know we didn't have to do cleanup attacks, so that's obviously going to shave some time off, but uh, I like the format. One thing I'm thinking of maybe doing, guys, you can give me some comments in the, uh, the feedback, <coughs> is, um, oh, what was I going to say? Is that... Uh, when when we do when we do the cleanups, um, how would you guys like us to do that? Do you want us to try and just tweak the attack? Do you want us to try a whole different attack? I mean, when you're submitting your bases, I know you guys have very specific things you guys want to uh, want us to try. But um, just uh, just more the more feedback, guys, the better we can mold this series into exactly what it is you guys want. Because we're just having a lot of fun with it, just just attacking these bases and breaking them down. Um, and then another thought I had was, what do you think uh, about us showing the replay of the attack that we did that was a three-star attack and commentating on that attack as it happens about, you know, uh, maybe things we were thinking or uh, what surprised us, what didn't surprise us, why we use spells in certain areas. Um, I think maybe, um, again, I, I don't know, maybe we have to do a whole different series on something like that. <laughs> um, but uh, just some thoughts, guys. Continue give us, giving us your feedback. Um, some people were also saying that the email is incorrect. Maybe I posted a wrong email in a video or something like that. But it is for sure wiser oh at outlook.com. Um, that is 100% the right email. I'm still getting a lot of emails from other guys, so I don't know where the uh, misconception happened, but that is definitely in the email. Um, so please keep sending us this stuff. Uh, you got anything to, else to add here, Kat? I think that was a great session. No, I, uh, I'm excited for the next one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I'll try and get you some this weekend. Uh, guys, continue to send your bases. Plus, if you're on Twitter, please follow me, wiser OH. Um, at wiser oh i should say uh and go ahead and dm me your bases as well anyone who does already follow me on twitter that would be fantastic and uh plus Caddick has a little uh little something on the horizon here soon um we may be looking at introducing uh, a patron for cad uh, and allowing you guys to get a little bit of private access to uh, his knowledge and we're not 100% sure how we're going to roll this out. I hope I'm okay in even mentioning this, Cad, but yeah, um, sure. uh, it's really exciting. I'm going to do everything I can to help this guy uh, make this awesome because our idea is to have a little Patreon where you guys can pay into a Patreon and we will have private sessions. Um, you know, Cad's going to do coaching sessions. Um, I'm going to incorporate certain YouTube videos to it, we'll have our own Discord server, all sorts of stuff, so you'll have exact direct knowledge to uh, to Kadic himself and uh, and his, uh, his his amazing knowledge of this game. Because honestly, man, you've taught me so much about this game. I mean, learning up to learning up to what I have now and learning what we did from Iron Wolf, but you just have taken that to the next level for us. And um, you know, I'm really excited to see that roll out. So stay tuned for that, guys. Uh, once we get all the details for you, that'll uh, that'll definitely come your way. Uh, anything else to add, buddy? No, man. Thanks. <laughs> awesome. No, anytime. That's why I'm here. Uh, so I think that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help it bag that next tree star. Till then, we're out.